Disney Plus is confirmed to be coming to the Switch, but for some reason in 2019, we've had the goddamn Switch for two years and Netflix is nowhere to be found. What's going on here? Disney Plus is Disney's new streaming service, in case, in case you didn't know. Uh, they've been working on it for uh, for a while now. We've been talking about this for a fucking while on this channel here, even on the on the news. You know, it's always a little murmuring. It's like, ooh, they took this off of Netflix. Are they going to do it on Disney Plus now? Blah, blah, blah. They're going to have like little, uh, you know, sections, a Marvel section, a Star Wars section, a blah, 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 blah section. It's a streaming service. It's your fucking standard fare for a streaming service. $6.99 a month or $69.99. For a year, I am not interested in this though. I've got too many fucking streaming servers. I got fucking Crunchyroll, Hulu, Netflix. The, the the golden age of streaming services is coming to an end, let me tell you. Originally it was like Netflix and it was like, that was the only option. We got our all of our fucking net, we got everything on Netflix and that's all you need. And then ABC is making one. Uh, who's CBS? What, we gonna have TBS fucking streaming? Every channel is gonna have their own fucking streaming service and just everything's gonna go out the goddamn fucking window. But that's a rant for another time. Uh, the big kahuna of streaming services is Netflix. Obviously, everybody has Netflix. Everybody knows Netflix. Uh, there are many memes about Netflix. Netflix is the guy. All right. Uh, he's, he's the top dog. You know, I'm, I'm assuming Netflix is gender. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, Netflix uh, is nowhere to be found on the Switch. 2019, it's on every fucking thing in the world. But the fu but the switch, I don't know what is I don't know what's going on. What is the fucking deal here? Nintendo is this your fault? Because I've heard that Netflix is like we're ready to rip. It's on Nintendo. I don't know who what's hold what's the hold up here. We need fucking Netflix. We got Disney Plus uh, coming, which is you know some people are gonna like it I guess because you know they're taking all the Marvel shit off of Netflix, putting it on there as far as what I've heard. You know you're gonna have your Star Wars. I saw Simpsons is confirmed for that. Disney's got some money. They're gonna they're gonna buy some stuff, but uh, we we want Netflix. We want our fucking Stranger Things on our Nintendo Switch. Can someone sort this out and get us Netflix, please? I've been begging for literally years uh, for the convenience of Netflix on my Switch. But hey, who knows if that'll ever fucking happen, right? We're gonna be fucking six years in the next console coming out, and everybody's gonna go, "Oops, I guess we forgot Netflix." So, hey, Disney Plus. Thanks for thanks for coming, I guess. Octopath Traveler is no longer a Switch exclusive. And I, I know you're saying, well, Shane, they already said it was coming to mobile. What are you talking about? Well, the mobile port was like a weird, different version where you like pay for these characters. It's like a, it's like a whole different thing. It's not the original Octopath Traveler. It's a, an exclusive mobile experience. It's not the real deal Octopath Traveler, but Steam is getting the Switch version of uh, Octopath Traveler. I don't know when it's coming. I, I, I didn't fucking pay attention to that, all right? But the port of the original Switch game is coming to Steam. Maybe enhanced graphically. I don't fucking know. It's the same version we got on Switch coming to Steam. No longer ex a Switch exclusive. I remember they were uh, hyping it up out the ass. The developers were talking about like, oh, we, we want this special exclusive for the Switch and blah, blah, blah. That's just how fucking shit works, right? You always see exclusives. Uh, that you're like, you'll think you'll never see on anything else, and then here it is, right? I remember we were talking about Persona 5 coming to the Switch, and everyone was like, hell no to the no, no, no! But then we got the Best Buy situation where it's like on all the employees' computers at Best Buy where it's coming to Switch, so, hey, <laughs> suck on that, sucker! Uh, also, Crash Bandicoot as well. People were, like, adamant about how Crash Bandicoot Trilogy was not coming to the Switch. They're like, are you kidding me, Shane? <laughs> Grow up, man! Crash Bandicoot Trilogy on the Switch, get a load of this guy. Get a load of you, Joker, because it's here. And I made a review on it that you should go watch. But anyways, this is how things happen. They say they're exclusive and then they're not. They don't even say it's a timed exclusive. It's just people make deals, all right? Uh, once the deals expire, then everyone's free to do what the fuck they want, right? Unless I guess it's in the original deal. Like, this could never go anywhere else. But hey, if, you're on, if you don't have a Switch, you're on PC, you're on Steam, you know, you know hey, you're going to get a great game. So... I don't see the problem here. No problems on my end. Maybe some people are salty because they wanted to be like, ooh, exclusive for me. Like, look what I got. and You can't get it. The more people that can experience the game, the better. Uh, the better for the company, the better for the consumer because we are more likely to get sequels and everything else. So if you're complaining about this, shut up.
and uh, Ubisoft had a huge oopsie. Uh, there was a slur found in the, the Division 2. Apparently, there's a huge uh, fucking wall art graffiti of, uh, there's graffiti all over the game. I haven't played the fucking game. It looks fun, it looks interesting, but I'm, I'm, I'm playing everything else. I'm still playing Kingdom Hearts 3, all right? I'm playing too many games. But anyways, The Division 2, there's a big picture of a cop eating a donut, stereotypical, like, haha, cops are fat and they eat donuts. I like it, okay, great. But uh, apparently on the badge, the badge number is uh, FA6607. Write that out, type that out, and you will see what they were going for with that. Clearly, it's uh, spelling a certain slur uh, to a, uh, you know, people of a certain sexual preference. You know, YouTube's crazy, we can't say the word. But uh, there we go, that's out there. I don't know who, who, who thought this was good in, in today's sensitive ass uh, climate, uh, especially gaming wise, everyone's just get. if you do anything slight, if you make your game too hard, you get it, a whole mob after you. And you put FA6607 as the badge number on the cup, and some people are saying like, well, it's like a black flag reference or who, where the fuck band it was. I'm like, why would you think this is a good idea? I know you're French, but God damn it, Jesus. Get your shit together. Obviously, you're, you're gonna get in fucking trouble. Ubisoft apologized, clearly. They're, they are trying to fix this shit ASAP. They're taking it out of the game. They're like, uh, this didn't, I don't know, what this quality testing or whatever didn't catch this. I don't know what the, I don't know what happened here. Motherfucker, you did not check this big mural of a cop? I, I don't know, it sounds weird to me. And maybe they thought that since it was a cop and people don't like cops, it was gonna fly. But it's just a mess. It's a silly little mess. Ubisoft, obviously, uh, you, you, you goofed up because that's, uh, you should know that you shouldn't be fucking putting this shit out here in this climate. Anything you goddamn do, you're going to get shit all over for, unless you're Japan. Japan does not care. You can go try to, uh, bring Japan down with any type of complaints you want. And they will say, ha ha, we live on an island in the middle of the ocean. Go away, American. But, uh, Ubisoft is French, so they will definitely be bending the knee. But uh, hey, I think it was a, a, a not a tasteful move here, right? I mean, come on. Guys, <laughs> we can grow up, right? Uh, but anyways, what are you gonna do? Ubisoft, I accept your apology. Hopefully uh, everyone else does and you don't. Uh, we don't uh, you know what, I want a fucking uh, Mario and Rabbids too. When that, first, when that game was first announced, I was like, Mario and Rabbids, what is it, a joke? <laughs> and then it was amazing. Uh, Ubisoft, it wasn't amazing. It was pretty, pretty, pretty good. Could have been better. Ubisoft has this weird thing where like their games are like slightly glitchy or extremely glitchy. They never like put up that super polished finished product like like a Nintendo would or like a you know a first party uh, Sony studio would do. Uh, they're just kind of a weird like eight out of ten studio. They're like, ooh, you're pretty good. So give us more of that. Less of the. Uh, the slurs in your game, maybe, just for the sake of uh, everyone in the community being upset at you. Uh, hey, live and learn, then get loves, right, Ubisoft? So go get you some diapers. Let's get this sorted out and you, everything's gonna be okay. Guys, I am jet lagged as fuck, all right? We're back from Japan. I'm glad to be back. Uh, I'm fuck, I woke up at 2.30 a.m. this morning. I had napped for six hours yesterday. I've been awake since 2.30, I was wide awake, couldn't go back to sleep. I am fucked right now. I don't know if you can tell by my face, but God damn it. I am exhausted. Uh, I'm gonna fall asleep right after I finish uploading this, so good night, friends. But hey, more news coming. I'm gonna try to get it out uh, as often as I can. Obviously, more other videos coming too. Got some ideas brewing up in me head for some fun stuff, so I'll be on the lookout for that. All our $25 tiers, your boxes went out today. Sorry, it was a little late this month because we were out of the country, but uh, we are back. Everything should be running as smooth as it always does. If you ordered shirts, there, our, our vacation did not affect that. And thank you to everyone that supports us. You're amazing. And thanks for watching the video. Greatly appreciate that. Leave a like if you liked it. Leave a dislike if you didn't. Uh, drop a comment down below calling me an idiot because I know I am. And I know I said something fucking stupid like I do every episode. So let me know what, I, let me know what it was this time. Uh, but uh, if you want to support the channel, uh, you can buy some merch. Fugamecrew.bigcartel.com. We got shirts. We got mugs. We got all that fun stuff. Go check it out. Uh, or if you don't want to buy merch, but you still want to support channel, we got a Patreon or a like direct PayPal link uh, in the description. Uh, all donations do help out. We buy stuff for the channel. We buy mics. We buy lights. I bought this fucking table and shit. So it really does help a lot. You're all greatly appreciated. And uh, links for all that in the description. 
Thanks again for watching, and I'll see ya later. So I want to say thank you to your loyalty. Thank you for your support. Woo, I'm fucked. <laughs>